they were auctioning off a night machine, mm -hmm. which is what in English. A sewing machine. machine. And Afrikaans it sounds dirty. It sounds very dirty. Night machine. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Bloody Podcast. I don't... How are Sammy! Alright, so Sammy. how are you? I wish you were Merry Sammy, we wish you were Merry Sammy, we wish you were Merry Sammy and a happy go. I'm wearing my pajama pants. I see you wearing your And my sweater just for full disclosure. Mm -hmm. I am tired. I am tired, me too. You know, me and Irod was just saying before we started filming the podcast, ne? When it rains, it pours. You know that saying, when it rains, it pours. I do. But the pouring is now by the beer. It's too much pouring. There's way too much because like even at this point in time, first off we haven't had power since like 4 o'clock this morning. Sounds about right. It sounds about right. Then the weekend was crazy and my laptop got stolen just before I was supposed to go on stage. And then, oh no, it's been, yo, that was a nightmare. That was an absolute nightmare. His laptop got stolen from his car, which was locked. And... You know what, Ne? The mm. criminal people don't even feel bad. They, <laughs> in their mind, they are entrepreneur. Yes. In their mind, they worked hard for that laptop. They purchased the thing to open your car with. They yeah. are entrepreneurs in their faces. I would, I would like to entrepreneur their face with mine. Do you recognize face. this mug? I saw so, no, no, it's great. You bought it, it for me. I did bought it for you. I could. Yes, a guy, <laughs> and it's still, it's still in working fashion. <laughs> Are you yet a quitter or not yet? <sighs> I don't eat a lot of chocolate. No, anymore. but you don't. You don't really know. I think there was a time when I ate a lot of chocolate or whatever, but I'm more of a salty girl. You're I'm a salty, salty. snack. Yes. I like a chippy. Mm hmm. And uh, um, a peanut. You're a peanut. Those peanuts, your dad introduced me to those peanuts. Which ones? That ones he likes. Yes. That, that is like in the pretzels. No. Which what ones? are they called again? It's the, the brand name. It's not Simba, it's, no, it's the other Safari. one. Safari! Sponsor the podcast. Sponsor us, <laughs> Safari. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, because I don't want to be rude. I like Simba and Chappy Fool, but they're peanuts. Mm. Not for me. It's okay. It's not for me. Okay. Anyway, but I mean, that's just my opinion. Don't sue me. <laughs> anyway. I'm tired. I have nothing to say. You're gonna have to take over this. Am I going to? Have, is my back going? Is my back going to hurt out of this podcast? Because no, I'm gonna have to carry, carry you all the you're way. You're gonna have to carry the show. There if we you go. Look at my hoodie. I saw so. It's the first thing that I saw when I saw you. So, okay, okay, bye. If you wanna order Christmas presents, it has to be before the fifteenth. Why before the fifteenth? Because um, to get it, I mean, if you want it for Christmas, is okay. what I'm meaning. Okay, to order stop at the 15th, otherwise they can't get there. Yeah, because you can order still, but then it's not going to be before Christmas. Okay. Because you have to get, and some of the stuff is not in stock. Mm -hmm. Hoodies, you might not get, even if you order it now. Oh, because wow. Because they don't have stock, and it's not winter. No. Today, this weather. I love this weather. This is like a, like a, yeah, I don't know, it's at least cool because it's, it's been... my favorite weather, because it's, so it's nice. been hot. It felt like we fell into hell, which I mean... Close enough, hey. And um, today is whether you can wear like a long sleevey mm -hmm. and you're fine. Yeah. It's not hot, it's not cold, it's just a lacquer lacquer. Although I'm feeling hot now. Probably <laughs> it's my ninth cup of coffee for yeah, that. You drink a lot of coffee. You're one of those people that drink a heck of a lot of coffee. I don't need coffee in the mornings usually, mm -hmm. but I do like a cup of coffee. Tell the people why you don't drink coffee in the afternoon. <laughs> Because then I can't sleep at night and somehow Sammy and her dad say things that's a, a hoax or a... Or a... Or a old wife, wife or style. Or a fabiel. Okay, okay, but my question is what is the reason that coffee keeps you awake at night? Caffeine. Okay, but can you drink coke before going to bed? I um, shouldn't because then sometimes I do stay awake. Because it's not just caffeine, it's just... Trump card! Because <laughs> it's no. sugar as well. Oh, last night, mm. I... I, you, your I, I. I was on the TV show. You were on the TV show last night? Yes, you're right, you were on the TV show last night. Yeah, congratulations, congratulations to me. Congratulations. <laughs> um, it was an episode about... It's called Poseidon Night. Okay. 
Tim Barobin. Mm -hmm. And Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> and me. Like, I feel like it's a, a strange thing to be spoken about. Such when, legends, yeah? Right? Those people. Legendists. And, I mean, Devi, I was nervous when I met her. I can imagine. Because you. that lady is, she doesn't take cock. Here's the question. When you saw her and she rocked up, did you think you were being investigated at first, eh? I said to her, is this like some sort of a ruse? Yes. <laughs> did you um, find discrepancies in my lack of a bank account? <laughs> Were you like, um, there's no way this person can be this poor? <laughs> Me? Yeah. And then she was like, I need to investigate this business. No, but she's sweet and she's very short. Mm. And she's, she has the nicer skin. I don't know mm -hmm. if that has anything to do with the price of chickens. <laughs> but she's beautiful. Mm. But I've seen her make grown men cry. So I was <laughs> I've nervous. seen her make grown men run very far away run from her. Run away. <laughs> so I was nervous, but it was lovely. And now That's I was wonderful. Can, can a person reseed or restream it? Yes, I'm just waiting for a link. Oh, awesome. And then I shall post it. Yes, please. For people who missed it, because I missed it. I didn't watch it because we don't have TV. Ah, okay, yes. Ah. So I also haven't watched it yet. I don't know if it came out good or if I looked like a moron. <sighs> Which, if I looked like a moron, it's on brand, luckily. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed on the head. Nailed that. Also, in other news, my old high school reached out to me. Yeah! And they want me to do something for them next year. Ah, like, cool. as a. Alumni, as a what? As a famous alumni. A famous alumni. And then I told my dad, and he's like, "It's so strange that they want to now bring you in when, yes. in actuality, you were a little of a washout <laughs> in high school." <laughs> I'm like, "That's my dad." No, trust me, nobody wants anything. I haven't to do replied with me. them yet. I just remembered that I haven't re replied them yet. I will, if you're watching this, I will reply you. What was your school's name? I'm not gonna say that uh, now. Okay. I first want to reply them. Okay. And make sure it's not a and make sure they weren't just kidding. Yeah, it's a bit Psych. Psych April Fool. April Fool in December. Oh. Don't do that. Um I'm tired of this year. I'm also so over this year and things are just not going my way and it's just ah I don't know. Maybe the new year will be better. I don't it's know. It's probably not. <laughs> Because no hope. every year, at the end of the year, you're like, I'm tired of this year now. Mm. I don't think it's... Although last year was... I've, last year was a good year for me. I mm. enjoyed last year. Although there was some caca and all it always goes like this. Mm. But this year, I feel like the majority of people are just tired. And I feel like people have forgotten how to conduct themselves in public. Mm -hmm. People are so short-tempered, you can see yeah. it on the roads. People are just hurtful. Yeah. I don't think it's just you or just me. I think it's a general thing. And now we somehow think that on the 1st of January, something's going to change. <laughs> From the 31st of December, mm -hmm. like it's going to, that little calendar change is going to change everything and we're going to start fresh. Fresh from from what? From what? What resting is there to be had? All right. We, I've never in my entire life had a restful December. That is Rita's busiest time. That's yeah, Rita's busiest time. I've busy. always worked. So maybe you are off on Christmas Day and the 26th. Yeah, sometimes. And the 1st. That's three days. Now, because... That is what Christmas and everything is all about. You mm -hmm. spend it with your family. Now that two days that you have off, you have to see your family. Yes. Which is stressful enough. <laughs> and you mean you love them, but Seeing I would nice. rather take a nap. Mm. Oh, all two days of napping, that sounds great. But that's not socially acceptable. No, you have to see your family. You have to see your family and you think, well, we do this once a year. Why do we do it once a year? Oh, please, I don't want to do this again. And then next year you're like, well, you know, I possibly could. And, and then you eat yes. like a gluttonous pig. Ne? Yes. <laughs> if you're lucky. If you're lucky. And you, if you're lucky. And you I feel like from when I was little, every year 
Yes. The Christmas meals becomes a little smaller. <laughs> we tone it back a little bit. When I was your, when I was little, and all of the cousins came, we had Christmas on the farm. The whole family came together. Mm. Big, big. There was food. We also did that when I was younger. There was food. There was people. Lots there was, of food. Yeah, it was amazing. It was so much fun. No, and now, but you know what? I still get flashbacks because it was us as the cousins. It was our job to clean the kitchen afterwards. No. And I can't get over it. That's not fun. It, um, it haunts me to this day. Mm. Now it's all smaller. It's more toned back. Mm -hmm. It's acceptable to just have a broy. And everyone just brings a salad to whatever mm -hmm. that is now. It's more toned back. But back then, yeah, it was a farmhouse, it, a big kitchen. Yeah. Every pot. Every single Every pot is fail. <laughs> <laughs> every every pot of the kitchen was fail. Every pot of the kitchen was fail with dishes mm. and I didn't care, I knew that it was us going to be washing it. New spoon for everything. Mm. I want to taste if this is right. Who in the sink? Take a new spoon to taste five mm. minutes afterwards. So sure. No. If you've not made your stand while sitting down. <laughs> that was my um, rant. Was that your rant? <laughs> Christmas rant. In Japan. Mm -hmm. And I want to preface this by saying I love Japan. It looks, and I've never been there. Just from what like, I see. I was watching something today, which is like a cooking show on, on, on BuzzFeed. Thing is, I think called Worth. Oh. Watch out how you drink. This is the second time today that I've hit my tooth with a cup. Second time in one day. What is wrong with me? What is wrong? You don't eat a cup, you drink from it. That's better. I saw it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this worth it thing and they went to Japan. It's like three or four episodes. First one is them of them eating egg, and the second one is of them eating sushi, and the third one is, I can't remember what else, but all of them were in Japan, and it looks like a lovely place, and those people are listening really nice. They do. Sure. You remember Tokyo was also in Japan once, <laughs> and it funny. also looked great, yeah. and people seemed so friendly. The Rugby World Cup was in Japan in 2019 that it was. and that's when I fell in love with Japan mm. because it seems like they are just a culture of following rules, being kind, not mucking about, mm. being rude. Yeah. Now in Japan a guy was arrested because he on purpose there was mm -hmm. uh, what do you call doves, not doves, pigeons. Okay. There was pigeons in the road and he was annoyed with them. And he on purpose drove into them. Oh my word. And one of the pigeons died. Then they did an autopsy on the pigeon. <laughs> Which I think is uh, funny. I don't know why I find it funny. Yes. Okay. But it's a funny thing to happen. They did an autopsy on the pigeon. Yes. And they determined that it died from fright. And then they arrested the man. Because it's wild, wildlife laws. And they were like, N you can't do that. You are being a cock up. You are under an arrest. What? And for I saw in the... Yeah, for killing a pigeon. And I saw it in the comment sections, people were like, really? Is there mm. not more important things that you can... But I think that's why the country works so well. Mm -hmm. Because they take all the laws seriously. Yeah. Whether it's in your mind a stupid law or whether it's a small thing, they take it seriously. And I would love to implement that in South Africa. Listen, we can't even implement that. The thing is, you can't we even. Can't. You learn the most basic of basic things if you're caught. And that's where the that. problem starts. People yeah. think it's no big deal breaking a small law, hmm. but it's still a law it's, that you are breaking. Yeah. And now I'm your case. And I was thinking if you can arrest people and throw them in prison for overtaking you on a sparse trip. Yes. The world would be a better place. It would be a wonderful place. It would be a better place. And if you know that you are going to get in cock, even if you frighten a pigeon to death. <laughs> then you know, but that, that's why the place works. Yeah, it, it was funny. Autopsy on a pigeon. <laughs> and yeah. then, bah. I wouldn't drive into pigeons on purpose. I think that's rude. I think that's rude and I just feel like if you do something like that and it, it either explodes or I've had it before where it was by accident that the thing went zoop and yeah. then it's just poo everywhere. So... Yeah, um, and I mean they wouldn't have arrested him if a pigeon flew into him because then it would have been <laughs> they might have suicide. They, 
<laughs> I'm just making jokes. And they might have arrested the pigeon then. But he, uh, he yacht in on purpose. It wasn't just by accident. But what maybe he was late for a meeting? Not their problem. Mm. In, in Japan, do you remember in um, that top gear when they spoke about how on time the bus is? Yes, was? everything is on so, time. So, in being late, there's no excuse. Yeah. Because everything there is clockwork. Mm hmm. Gotta have this train. now. Train. Train. Ah. train. Mm. In South Africa, it's train. Train on fire. <laughs> Turn down the train. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Dolly mm. Parton. Ah, the dolls. Love her. The old dollies. I love her. Anyone who speaks ugly about Dolly in front of me yes. will get kicked in the face. <laughs> but then she did the Super Bowl halftime. Okay. And I saw headlines. People are furious. Furious? Why? Because she was dressed inappropriately. Oh, no. For her age. And it looked bad. And she's a bad influence on children. And I thought, Did she oh, dress shit, the way what? that she usually dresses? I was like, what was she wearing? What How bad wearing? could it be? Was yeah. her grandma rolls r running around on the stage? I don't <laughs> then I went and googled the picture. Yeah. She was wearing shorts. And not like panty shorts. Just nice short shorts. Mm. And like a crop top thing with a collar. Like a cowboy what what. Her body yes. is banging. Is banging. She looks so good. She, yeah. And whether it's from plastic surgery or what, what, nobody's business, I don't care. She looked amazing. What is the bad influence here? Maybe the bad influence are those bad apples that say bad things. Maybe that's the only bad. I mean, I am all, I'm not a, a hang out your tits in public type of person. Yes. I quite like to cover myself up because I feel more comfortable in that mm. way. But let people wear what they want. I, there is a line. I think sometimes lines are cross the bed. But she she looked great. I okay. don't get why people are upset. I have to see And she's that. Dolly. She's the doll. She's she, Dolly. She's Dolly. She can do what she wants. Yes, she may. It's her party. <laughs> and she can cry if she wants to. Nine to five. South Africa spent over 11 billion rand on solar in the past three months. Hey, and we are in... Uh, Bellion. Yeah, we are in the wrong industry, my dear. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And it's only going to get worse. It's going to get worse. So, worse. Are, we, are we investing in solar and now starting to sell solar? We might as well. Jump Ooh. on the bandwagon. Yes, but well, what are we, we going to invest? We don't have money. No, I do well, well, Are as... we going to buy a stock? <laughs> buy a solar one, eh? <laughs> Could it begin somewhere? So, uh, Victron Energy, if you are watching this, because I have Victron Energy Systems here, ne? Yeah. Ne? I want to buy into your company, please. I have five rand. How many shares does that <laughs> give me? Let me know. You have my details. <laughs> I once accidentally bid on a noise machine. <laughs> True story. It was at our church, and every year we do a bazaar. Yes, I know. So, they auction off, you can skink stuff, I I'm forgetting words, you can donate. donate stuff to the church and they auction it off and the money goes to the church. So, I was there, I was still a child person and they were bidding, they were auctioning off a night machine, mm -hmm. which is what in English, a so sewing English. machine. In Afrikaans it sounds dirty. It sounds very dirty. Nine machine. That's what they used to call me in school. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and I was there thinking I'm funny and I was like... <laughs> well, and then I went to bed. <laughs> how much did they have to pay? I, I can't remember. I didn't go to claim it. <laughs> Church, if you're watching this, that was me. <laughs> That's I had year. no use for an eye machine. Okay, I'm not going to fix my own pants. I'm going to ask my grandmother to do it. Hello, Omar. Will you please fix my pants? <laughs> or I will just wear it with a hot in. I mean, it's not that deep. <laughs> I would have loved to be a fly on the wall that day. It was mm -hmm. funny. Mm -hmm. I, I ran Where's, away. Where were parents? <laughs> my dad was there. And ah, then when I won the bed, that's when he noticed what I was busy with. <laughs> and Ow. I was just like, um, it was by accident. Okay, pretty good. Snooky. 
my cat is losing hair a lot. Yes, I see so. But you know, I, I realized she's old. Yeah, how old is Yash? Look, she's old. She's 13. She came from the Plas. She's from Plot Days. She's from Plot Days. Alright, tell us the story about your new cat. So, what happened is, yes, I didn't get this call saying, No, there's a cat and it's so small. Oh, hmm. I don't know what was going on. Your she, female? My female companion. <laughs> <laughs> Called you. Yes. And said. And said. There's a cat! There's a cat! Oh, oh. Kitty, kitty. Yeah, you see, all you girls do exactly the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then. And then. And then. And then the rest is history. She came home with the cat. And then she came home with the cat. Because there was at, was it at her work? Yeah. So what happened is at her work, yeah, so the story is that there was one of these little tuk-tuk thingies that came there and apparently it came from somewhere else and the cat then went inside the engine and then somehow unfortunately this poor little cat they said no they didn't hear it meow because it was it must have gone mad because it would have seen the road underneath it and oh. ploughing to a hot engine and it got burnt on its nose and its eye and its everything so it was a shameless person and then yes yeah, she brought it sort of home and yeah so then the next day now uh, you're the proud owner of a new cat yes long story short a long story short another person stuck the cord <laughs> yes at the cat in the engine and what are it we, happens what are we calling the cat the great catsby Oh. Oh. That is cute though. Yeah, it's a cute girl. I love was, a cat. It was her life. I love a cat and I can understand why she brought him home. Yes. Because she's a good Samaritan. She's a good Samaritan. She can't just she's not just like I'm gonna leave the cat in the engine. Yeah. Um you put the biscuits in the cookies. <laughs> the chocolate chip in the biscuits, you mean? Isn't there something about a cat in a biscuit? Isn't there a saying about cats in a biscuit? Cats in a uh, or is that <laughs> pigs in a blanket? <laughs> I think that's pigs in a blanket, my dear. <laughs> that's in a biscuit, I Okay, think. whatever. She brought the cat home. Now the cat with its little, little gebrande new suit yes. has a home. So it's a, it has a happy ending yeah, it does for the a, cat. Yes. Not for you. No, not for me. Either. You are going to... Um, another, one. another cat. <laughs> and now it's time for Airod's idiotic joke. Why did Santa send his daughter to college to keep her off the North Pole? But now she's just going to climb on a college pole. <laughs> <laughs> My word, yes, there we go. Oh, oh, this one's, this one's bad. What does Mrs. Claus get when she wears tight pants? <laughs> Mistletoe. <laughs> Can't use that. Why not? Who's that going to offend? Gee. People who have camel toes. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't know. Be offended then. Be offended, okay. There was a report that claims that South Africa has the most screen time in the world. I saw that, yes. With light shedding. Say what? How many? Um, South Africa spends 58.2% of their day in front of screens. Yeah. Well, that's... That you know, is more than half. Almost 60% of their day. Yes. They are on the phone or what? The laptop what, what? or... Laptop. How much do you spend on the day? Here's the question. <laughs> I think my average is eight hours. It's eight hours, yeah. It's a lot. Also but to lot. be fair, yes. I do do social media for a living. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, that's son. What I'm saying to myself. Mm. Because a lot of time, I also read from my phone and my tablet. So it's, got, it's gone up since I got my tablet because now I read on my tablet, on the Kindle. What are we reading? I'm reading everything. Um, I think that's a way to escape life. Okay. I've been reading a lot lately. In the past 10 days, I've read 15 books. <laughs> no, you can't I read have? that much. Yes, you can. A book is 100 and something pages, you can't read that. I read, I read quickly. Sometimes I read two books a day at this point. Um, 
and I'll also do it when I'm supposed to be sleeping. <sighs> now, I've been reading a lot lately. Oh my. And that is one of the many reasons why I think I have ADHD. Mm -hmm. It's because I hyperfixate on stuff. The whole year, not one book. And then all of a sudden, now. Then all of a sudden, now I'm reading like maybe two a day. That's craziness. And I mean, in the books, everything seems fine. Mm. Like life is going to be okay. And then once you put it down and you watch around you, you're like, no, it's not. No, it's not. Life is not. Let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Adot is going to be DJing at Millie Pop Kempton Park. Come by. It's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be there. Adot's going to be there. Maybe we'll film the last episode from there. Okay. Like you suggested. I think that's a good idea. I think we should do but that. But I'm afraid to take my camera equipment with me because then someone's going to rob us. Oh, my goodness. That's what I'm afraid of. Uh, I understand. But we can maybe film there after it's closed. Mm. We'll see. This is maybe the last episode of the year. Unless we feel like doing another episode. That's where I'm going to leave it at. Okay. If we don't do another episode, Merry Christmas. Um, I'm starting to get around to the Christmas spirit. I'm not there yet. Mm -hmm. But I'll get there. Every day I'm one more relate to the Grinch. <laughs> I do. He doesn't seem so bad for me as an adult. Hey. Mm. But the, the Grinch is more reality because you feel like every day this is wrong and that is wrong. And, uh, bah, humbug and things. Well, I think that was Scrooge Mac. Yeah, but, um, anyway. Yeah. Um, thank you for everyone who subscribed this year. Thank you for everyone who's leaving comments and likes. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm. And we'll back, be back, back, be. <laughs> we'll be back, back, be, 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 We'll be back either next week or next year. Depending on how we feel. Yeah, that's it. All right.